Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your brother Yahya Ibrahim. I just greeted you with the greetings of peace, of course. Uh, that's the formal greeting uh, for us as Muslims. Uh, it's my mission in the next couple of minutes to talk to you about what Muslims believe in and who we believe in. There's a very technical term for that in the Arabic language. It's called Tawheed. Tawheed really simply means to single out God in all aspects of worship or service. Now, it's broken up into three important components. We believe about uh, Allah, which is the uh, pronoun that we use for God or the God, the only God that's worthy, worthy of worship. And that's literally what it means, Al-Ilah, the God. Uh, in the Quran, Allah tells us in Surah Al-Ankabut, um, wa ilahukum wahid, to say to uh, other people that our God and your God is one, in particular the people of the scripture. Uh, but what we believe about God may be different to what Christians and Jews, our cousins in faith, may believe about God. So it becomes uh, important to kind of understand the conceptualization. We believe that um, Allah is the Rabb. Uh, the word Rabb has 70, 80 different connotations. The master, the creator, the sustainer, the provider, the, uh, you know, the alpha and the omega. The second aspect of Tawheed is that he is Al-Ilah. Because he's the Rabb, because he's the only, he's the one who created and, and who made and fashioned out of nothing, then he should be the Ilah, the only one worthy of worship. And you can almost hear the word Allah in that word Ilah, meaning the deity, the only one worthy of worship. The third aspect is, well, how do I know who is God and how can I relate to him? And those are Al-Asma wa Sifat, the names, the most noble names, the most honored names of God that he has shown to us through his scripture in past messages to Moses and Jesus, Abraham, and of course in our final message to us as Muslims, the Quran. Uh, that's a general precept of Tawheed, the belief that Muslims have in singling out only God as being the creator, therefore the only one worthy of worship, and coming to know of him through the names and attributes and descriptions he has given himself that we try to engender in our life to grow closer as being worshippers of God. Uh, I hope you'll follow through with this series because I'll speak about each of the three categories independently. It's your brother Yahya Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.